me every proclamation that will come receive it by faith believe it and shout a loud amen as proof that you believe it are we together in the name of jesus christ delay comes to an end now delay comes to an end now delay comes to an end now everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family it comes to end this night in the name of jesus pray for your spiritual life the kind of encounter that you have not had from january till now strange encounters revelations of heaven receive that grace in the name of jesus and if our god is for us then who could ever stop us and if our god is with us before you and the next dimension I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho I command every word go down flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of Jesus And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to, the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter, I compel favor from them to you. I compel favor from them to you. In the name of Jesus. There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than is not more prosperous not more favored more honorable many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from god that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which god has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you there are many men of god the eyes that can discern and lift you is not there let me pray for you there is a grace for honor therefore god even thy god hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows i pray for you in the name of jesus may the mantle that makes for honor territorial honor honor at a national level in the name of jesus receive that grace now receive that grace now You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helper. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear. Then you come. 
Listen, it's a waste to fight battles without reward. David said, what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath? Sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward. I pray for you. May the Lord position your destiny helpers and cause them to love you and to honor you. The Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning. Leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you before this is over step into a dimension of prepared blessing prepared blessing prepared parush I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing listen believe us I want you to believe this. Our time is gone. But I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. The grace that will produce results of wonders in your life. May that grace rest upon you now. Prepared blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month. I release that grace upon you. Listen, these graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No, they are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning, the sound of pain and anguish by the Spirit of the living God, let it come to an end this night. Everything that has refused to work in your life by the power of the highest, I compel it to begin to work now. not know. May they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The presence of God. The weightiness. The substance of his presence that must rest upon you especially if you are in ministry by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be a carrier of divine presence. In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job, before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough, we call upon the God of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace. Hear me, whoever ignores you will pay for it. Hear me, any man that fights you goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. I 
I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you I pray for every man and every woman of God here the errands and the horse that will hold your hands loyal men indeed may God give them to you here who the testimony over your life is ichabod i declare by the spirit of god a restoration happens now <laughs> thou shalt not be afraid of the snare of the fowler nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked i pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil may you escape from every trap in the name of jesus christ i speak over your life go from glory to glory the remaining weeks of this year i'm speaking to you may they be weeks of strange wonders and finally let me speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of Jesus by fire let it be restored tonight may the gifts of the holy ghost operate freely in your life may you be a wonder first to yourself and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you in the name of jesus finally anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to see to it that you will not finish this year well to see to it that it will not be well with you and your family the hands he came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household i pray for you because the bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore i speak over you it is well i declare over you all is well in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus for all of you who have traveled from far whether from another nation right down here from another city right down here you will go back with strange testimony you will carry a fire and anointing that will be worth your coming here in the name of jesus we are working with time in the next two or three minutes you are going to cry a, we are going to do a corporate prayer of repentance before god don't be too proud oh you are going to cry before the god of it you don't have to lie down or whatever whatever position is comfortable not as an act of condemnation genuinely before the god of heaven and say lord i'm standing in repentance if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways some of you need to pray on behalf of your children on behalf of your husband on behalf of your wife lord i take the responsibility of priesthood there are men of god who need to stand on behalf of their congregations there are business ceos that need to stand on behalf of their corporations lord we plead mercy over every altar of sin and iniquity that is empowering every other negative altar death delays retrogression stagnation please pray god is giving you a chance those following from your homes following by way of television or internet when a moment of deep brokenness and repentance a broken and a contrite heart oh god thou will not despise mercy oh god mercy oh god 
give me Psalm 51. While you are praying, I'm going to be reading for you Psalm 51. Please give us Psalm 51 while we pray. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgression. Verse 2, please hurry up. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgression, my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned and done this evil in your sight. Verse 4 That thou mightest be justified. Please give us verse 4. We're not done. When thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Verse 5 Behold, I was shapen in iniquity. And in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden parts shalt thou make me to know wisdom. Uh -huh. Purge me with high soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out my iniquities. Verse 10. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Verse 12. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and behold me with a, and uphold me with a free spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall speak forth your praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else I would have given it, Thou desirest not in bond offering. Thou delightest not in bond offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit and a contrite heart, O God. Thou shalt not despise. Next verse. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Someone is praying. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness with burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings then shall they offer bullocks upon thy altar lift your voice in one minute you are praying for yourself pray for your organization lord i found out the reason behind these consistent plagues consistent pain consistent delay consistent retrogression consistent failure consistent sickness shabrende ke balaka tos ko do brende le ka pariata shagete bas messi messi in the name of jesus messi we come boldly to the throne of grace we obtain mercy and we find grace to help in time of need Mercy for Nigeria, mercy for our regions, mercy for Koinonia, mercy for every family here, mercy for every business, mercy for every captain of industry, every politician, every head of parliament, every professional, mercy for our children, mercy for those who have gone ahead of us. In the name of Jesus prayer point number two as for me and my house Lord I agree with you this day that I will serve the Lord no other name no other God no other force no other influence someone is praying please pray whether you come from Lagos whether you come from Plateau State from Kaduna State from Maiduguri from Enugu Anambra Cross River Port Harcourt it does not matter whether you are from the FCT. Lord, as for me and my house, 
I dissociate myself from the ordinances of idols. Someone is praying. I dissociate myself from the worship of deities, fraternities with gods that are not the true God. I declare that as for me and my family, I worship the one true God, Jesus, the Son of the living God. It doesn't matter what shrine you went to. It doesn't matter what the fathers did. Lord, we pray as a nation. Lord, we pray as a region. As for me and my house, as for me and this ministry, someone pray. As for me and my children, pray. As for me and my wife, as for me and my husband, as for me and my corporation shall I get the brand they get out outside make sure you are praying all the overflows as for me and my house we will live for Jesus we will serve the Lord Pastors, pray as for me and the vision God has given me. No consulting mediums, no consulting powers, no consulting shrines. It is Jesus only, Jesus ever, Jesus only, Jesus ever as the source of power, as the source of revelation, as the source of illumination. No bribery no corruption pastors pray no manipulating members sincerity of truth loving them and serving them In the name of Jesus. Now, don't be tired. We are still praying. Right now, on legal basis, you are going to pray and declare that every altar that he that told has had any legal grounds on your life, the blood is against it. He said, We overcame them by the blood of the Lamb. Someone open your mouth and begin to decree. In the name of Jesus, the blood of the everlasting covenant is against altars of untimely death pray you know what alters by the patterns in your life call it by name and curse it by the god of heaven operations of poverty operations of failure at the edge of breakthrough visitations of wicked spirits molesting you that everything you do seems to fail Of the throne of grace, I come by the backing of the throne of grace. Someone pray. A new order is imagined from you tonight. Your children will thank you. Your children's children will thank you. They will say, at what point did this transformation start? And you will tell them, when I found the revelation of the mystery of altars. Someone prophesy. 
My father may have died early. My mother may have died early. But I will not die early. I will not die on timely death. In the name of Jesus, I am crushing that altar by the power of the blood of Jesus. Pray. Graduate from the families. No job. No lifting. Pray. People don't get married. Or they get married and the homes don't stay. Barrenness. Repetitive patterns. Failures in business. Someone pray. The operation of these altars come to an end from Lagos to Abuja to Maiduguri to Kaduna State to Rivers to Cross River to Kogi State. I don't care how long they have lasted. Lord, we pray. Someone pray. Ilana malakata brada gata belakatosh, shagra gata berakatosh kata lakata, embra gata bras kata lakata brada kate, etra fete kata baros kata lakata, embra pakato prakate balakata prehedesh. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus, someone pray. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We are bringing a new order. Pray for your family. Enough is enough. Enough is enough of children becoming useless. Enough is enough of people never finishing what they start. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please listen to me. In the name of Jesus. When I started ministry and I discovered that not many people from my region had had the privilege to rise to a global level and to stay and to last sustainably in ministry, I said my nose me. But I knew that it would not just be empty talk. You see, let me tell you something about altars. They don't care whether you're a pastor. They don't care whether you are whatever. Once there is no compliance, you can stand and be making a lot of noise and yet nothing will happen. I made up my mind that I will serve the purposes of God at a global level and that anything that pegs people from my region and keeps them at a particular level, that it will be my lifetime I will rewrite that narrative. You are going to pray one more prayer before i speak over it, please don't be tired you came here tonight to deal with these things once and for all you are going to pray my destiny and my glory i connect you to the throne of grace go ahead and pray my destiny and my glory you are connected to that altar called the throne of grace my destiny and my glory you are not connected to ancestry my destiny and my glory you are not connected to wizardry and human manipulation my destiny and my glory you are not connected to earthly and platforms you are connected to the throne of grace someone pray my destiny my glory pray for your ministry my business your influence the workings of the spirit in your life connected to the throne of grace backed up by the king of kings himself backed up by the blood of the eternal covenant the meaning of that is no enchantment and no divination no enchantment no activities of wizardry necromancy the wasters of destiny they have no access to your life again connected to the altar
this prayer you are not wasting your time man connect your business by faith in the son of the living god not as a blind ritual no let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward i am no longer connected to ancestry someone is praying let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward i am not connected to the limitations of bloodline let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward connected to the throne of grace Let it be known to principalities and powers. Let it be known to thrones and dominions that there is a switch of loyalty. Let it be known to principalities and powers that there is a switch of loyalty from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of God's dear son. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hear me, my dear people. Everyone is destined by Christ to rise. There is nobody who is destined to remain down. Please place your right hand on your head prophetically. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I wait for the Lord sustains me. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we are still praying. Please don't be distracted. I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. Any system of authorization, whether as a result of personal sin, whether as a result of territorial sin, all foundations and bloodline by the mercy of God I decree and declare their legal hold over you is hereby broken hereby broken therefore every negative pattern every frequent occurrence that is inconsistent with that which the Word of God says should be in the name that is above all names, I bring to end those patterns now. I bring to end those patterns now. Patterns of untimely death, patterns of perversions, patterns of delay, patterns of limitation be broken now. Patterns of poverty, and begging and hardship be broken now patterns of mediocrity and inferiority be broken in the name of jesus hear me where you have not risen to before by reason of these limitations i stand by the power of the holy ghost rise to that level rise to that level in career rise to that level hear me if there is anyone here whose destiny is not opened and is not speaking you love god you are sincere but your life is grounded and that's what you have seen happen to other people in the name of jesus i decree and declare like a little flower 
opens up and begins to board, I command your destiny to open up. Open up financially. Open up. Hallelujah. Now, in the name of Jesus, if there is any priesthood servicing any altar against you, whether by reason of where you come from, that means there are human beings alive who continue to fuel those altars. Manikesh Shabarata, Ebre Katoskadia, Makabraskada, Latoshenekete, Ebre Ketebarata. In the name of Jesus, I bring to an end the reign of such priesthoods. Their enchantments will no longer work like the prophets of Baal. They will not receive any answers again. We shut the realm of the spirit against them. We shut the power of the sun against them. We shut the power of the wind against them. We shut the power of the earth against them. In the name of Jesus, every medium of expression ceases to work for them. If there is anyone here having any infirmity in your body that has defied medical attention and you know that this is a direct result of witchcraft right now in the name of Jesus that sickness leaves your body now help them please that sickness leaves your body now high blood pressure Diabetes, hepatitis, in Abarish it leaves your body now. Lumps and growths in your body, demonic things that have defied. Some of you have had surgeries again and again, and it will not go. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Every experience of seeing dead people come to harass you my bible says that the living and the dead have nothing in common there are times you may have encounters with the spirits of just men made perfect but that does not bring oppression in the name of jesus the system that authorizes familiar spirits to use the faces of men and oppress you and plant all kinds of things in your body and your destiny it is broken now It is broken now. That powers poverty and lack in the name of Jesus be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. Hear me. If there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die listen when you read the book of Esther you will see that by divination a date was already put to attack the Jews I pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and Satan that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing I, I pray for you now may death leave you alone we are wrapping up hear me if you are a firstborn here in the name of Jesus I pray for you the cause that tries to follow firstborns, the ones who open the womb, they are the ones who become the, the chief victims. I pray for you here, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward, I command it right now, at the count of three, may fire come upon that altar. One, two, three, take that fire now. Take that fire now.
the cause of first bond. I cost you right now. The cause of first bond. I kapata skote bata. I cost you right now. Hear me. If you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family, you are the first to be lifted to that level. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were, in Jesus' name, may that altar be destroyed now. Help them, please. May that altar be destroyed now. Two more prayers and we're done. My goodness, fire is burning in this place. Everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit, whether it's your favor, your job, your lifting, your children, your relationships, in the name of Jesus, this moment, by the power of the name, the blood, and the word, I declare a release now. I announce a prophetic jubilee now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Final prayer. Please place your hand on your head prophetically. Your head is a sign of your glory. You will be surprised at what will happen to you now. I want to pray for you. Father, you instructed that we do this. I stand by the priestly, the apostolic and the prophetic mantle. And I pray over your people. The head of a man is a symbol of his glory. I want to pray for you. Something will happen to you now every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of samson every spirit in the similitude of delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short financial delilahs ministerial delilahs career delilahs in the name of jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of samson grew back in the realm of the spirit i pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of god rest on it now rest on it now i make this declaration by prophecy therefore that in the name of jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of Jesus, you will never go down again. You will never go down again. In the name of Jesus, we've overshot our time. Lift. I want you to shout this loud and clear. Just help those under the anointing. Say, Father, I decree and declare that every legal access Satan has over my life, over my destiny, I invoke the blood and I declare right now causes, yokes, activities of ancestry be broken forever. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance. Someone is praying. Bring to an end. Don't fear the devil. You have authority redeemed by the blood. You have no legal hold over my life. You have no legal hold. The blood speaks. 
the blood speaks the blood speaks you have no legal hold over my life the blood speaks adega shalaka ta branda gata kos e prokoto pakata prakate balaka to sekata ka branda gata rusa sekatia e prakato skoto branda gata ruski atalakata Be patient we're almost done but pray this is a matter of your destiny Shadi gate berekoski ata Hallelujah Say in the name of Jesus Covenants of delay Covenants of untimely death Ah I tell you I sense I sense such such a strong anointing We are still praying. Covenants of retrogression. Covenants of failure. By the blood of Jesus help them. I declare be broken now. Open your mouth and pray. Be broken. Ordinances of fathers tying down the destinies of God's people. Be broken. Be broken. Redeemed by the blood. Redeemed by the blood. Redeemed by the blood. The ransom has been paid. A visa has been made. The Father is satisfied. Shabaka tabaka tosko to brenda gete. Ekra katabaka tosko to brenda gete la katusia. Embra kapa katos koto prekete lekete baria kata. Shane kate shara katos koto prende kete balakata. Hallelujah. Shout it very loud and clear. Say seasons of weeping. Seasons of shame. Seasons of embarrassment. Seasons of retrogression by the power of the blood come to an end in my life now lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray seasons of shame reproach embarrassment come to an end in the name of Jesus come to an end in the name of Jesus Come to an end. Come to an end. Kaleka te prakatos koto prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. You are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration. Say in the name of Jesus. Everything. that has left me that should not have left by the blood by the name by the word i call you back to my destiny open your mouth and begin to pray opportunities by the spirit of god relationships by the spirit of god resources by the spirit of god mantles by the spirit of god Arada bakata prande katoskati la kapa e prakatos koto prakatos kati malakata shaprekate bata restoration by the spirit of god 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 restoration hallelujah Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. I know that I've stretched you a bit, but I beseech you by the message of God. Please be patient and let's just finish this. Say after me in the name of Jesus. 
the spirit of the waster listen listen your confessions matter there is the spirit of a waster it can waste life's resources say again in the name of jesus the spirit of a waster the spirit of untimely death the spirit of infirmity i challenge you by the blood you have no hold over my life go 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 lift your voice and pray go untimely death the waster coming as ill health the waster coming as disappointment in business the waster the lord rebuke you The spirit of the waster. The baraka push koto brande ke para. Ekre katas katela katashubre here. Makabranda katabarata. You are cursed by the God of Heaven. Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny. That has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens i decree and declare clear away for me lift your voice and pray my place in life my space in destiny i take my place in life i take my place in destiny never will it be said adam where are you i take my place Aleta kaparu kapesh, neka branda kaparekesh, e protos koto brandi gebalia, kapra kapara koto skoto brande gebale gebia. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Patterns and circles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus. Come to an end now. Open your mouth and pray. Patterns. It happened to your father. It happened to your mother. It happened to your elder brother. Now it's happening to you. Patterns. Caused it by the God of heaven. Negative cycles. Every two, two years, someone must die. Every six, six months, someone must die. Caused it by the God of heaven. Patterns. They don't stay in marriage. Patterns. They don't give birth to children. Cursed it by the God of heaven. Please pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by the blood of Jesus. And the word of God I sanctify my dreams I sanctify my visions I sanctify my prophetic experiences no more manipulations no more wrong revelations open your mouth and pray pray declare sanctification the devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you the devil will not manipulate you with visions lying visions Please pray a few more minutes. Kaprenda kata bereka tosko tu brekia. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male. Or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant I curse you now open your mouth and pray please pray open your mouth and pray every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you coming as a woman that sleeps with you coming as animals all kinds of demonic things curse them by the God of heaven Abraca Pereto Sosoba, 
Kebrande kapa e kroto shoto brete kelikata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now you have prayed. Let me do the praying for you. I want you to be sensitive. We have a few minutes. There is a heavy anointing here. Listen, I'm going to, as I mentioned that case, the moment you are part of it, the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end. Are we together? Now we have just about two, three minutes. When that happens, I want you to bring the people out very quickly. Ushers, we have to work together. Right now, I declare, anyone here who is a victim of causes, right now, at the count of three, any cause sitting on your head, sitting on your destiny, causes that bring delay, causes that bring failure, causes at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, let that fire come. Bring them out right now. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Causes be broken now. Causes. Please help them. Whether you are an usher or not, help them. For sake of time. Causes. Every cause powered by an altar standing to destroy you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Very quickly, bring them out. Curses. I'm arresting curses. Negative pronouncements. Hallelujah. Please quickly bring them. Now all of you listen to me, I'm praying. Right now, every altar connected to anyone apakanata sanika paratusia. Every altar connected to anyone's foundation that is powering negative patterns right now i'm telling you i'm seeing fire may that fire engulf that pattern now altars catch fire oh patash koteka bring them out altars catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire by the power of the holy ghost Anatas katika tepa rakatos, eprakatos kotusa neka tepa lakatos yata, emprekati katia. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit. You are living your life, but you know this is another man's script. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. Anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you, knowingly or knowingly, and that became the token of witchcraft, Every shrine where that thing is right now, I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic. I set it on fire now. Tokens and instruments of connection. I set it on apakatoskata. I set it on fire now. I set it on fire now. Help that woman, please. I set it on fire now. Listen, listen to me, we're wrapping up. A kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy. But Judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal. A handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy. This is the one to destroy. I'm praying again, whatever left you, knowingly or unknowingly, whatever you receive knowingly or knowingly that is being used as a token 
of manipulation. I pray for you, Koinonia, by the God who called me. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. Everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive, they sat on altars powering Satan and not allowing people to move. There are whole villages and territories. They renewed their life with young people and they remain there. I call upon the God of heaven. May the ground open and swallow them this moment. Help them please. Help them, help them. May the ground open a pakato scatter. May the ground open and swallow them now. Bring them out, please. May the ground open and swallow them now. The spirit of poverty, of lack, and hardship all of you are graduates but no job everybody with masters phd yet nothing to write home about father let fire right now from heaven every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of jesus be destroyed now be destroyed now hear me if there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die listen when you read the book of esther you will see that by divination a date was already put to attack the jews i pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and satan that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing i i pray for you now may death leave you alone we are wrapping up hear me if you are a firstborn here in the name of jesus i pray for you the cause that tries to follow firstborns the ones who open the womb they are the ones who become the the chief victims i pray for you here by the power that raised christ from the dead if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward i command it right now at the count of three may fire come upon that altar one two three take that fire now take that fire now the cause of firstborns, I curse you right now. The cause of firstborns, I capatas kotebata. I curse you right now. Hear me. If you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family, you are the first to be lifted to that level. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were in Jesus name may that altar be destroyed now help them please may that altar be destroyed now two more prayers and we're done my goodness fire is burning in this place Everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit Whether it's your favor Your job Your lifting Your children Your relationships In the name of Jesus This moment By the power of the name, the blood and the word I declare a release now I announce a prophetic jubilee now In the name of Jesus Christ
Final prayer. Please place your hand on your head prophetically. Your head is a sign of your glory. You will be surprised at what will happen to you now. I want to pray for you. Father, you instructed that we do this. I stand by the priestly, the apostolic and the prophetic mantle. And I pray over your people. The head of a man is a symbol of his glory. I want to pray for you. Something will happen to you now. Every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of Samson. Every spirit in the similitude of Delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short. Financial Delilahs, ministerial Delilahs, career Delilahs. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, the same way the hair of Samson grew back. In the realm of the spirit, I pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of god rest on it now rest on it now i make this declaration by prophecy therefore that in the name of jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of Jesus, you will never go down again. You will never go down again. In the name of Jesus, we've overshot our time. Lift. I want you to shout this loud and clear. Just help us under the anointing. Say, Father, I decree and declare that every legal access Satan has over my life over my destiny I invoke the blood and I declare right now causes yokes activities of ancestry be broken forever lift your voice and begin to pray Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance. Someone is praying. Bring to an end. Don't fear the devil. You have authority redeemed by the blood. you have no legal hold over my life you have no legal hold the blood speaks the blood speaks the blood speaks you have no legal hold over my life the blood speaks be patient we're almost done but pray this is a matter of your destiny hallelujah Say in the name of Jesus, covenants of delay, covenants of untimely death. Ah, I tell you, I sense, I sense such, such a strong anointing. We are still praying. Covenants of retrogression, covenants of failure. By the blood of Jesus, help them. I declare, be broken now. Open your mouth and pray. Be broken. Ordinances of fathers. Tying down the destinies of God's people. Be broken. Be broken. Redeemed by the blood. Redeemed by the blood. Redeemed by the blood. 
the ransom has been paid a visa has been made the father is satisfied Hallelujah. Shout it very loud and clear. Say seasons of weeping. Seasons of shame. Seasons of embarrassment. Seasons of retrogression. By the power of the blood. Come to an end in my life. Now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Seasons of shame. Reproach, embarrassment, come to an end in the name of Jesus. Come to an end in the name of Jesus. Come to an end. Come to an end. Palekata prakatos koto prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. You are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration. Say in the name of Jesus. Everything that has left me that should not have left by the blood by the name by the word I call you back to my destiny open your mouth and begin to pray opportunities by the spirit of God relationships by the spirit of God resources by the spirit of God mantles by the spirit of God Parada bakata pranda katos katila kapa e prakatos koto prakatos kati malakata shaprekate bata restoration by the spirit of God 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 restoration Hallelujah hallelujah please don't be tired i know that i've stretched you a bit but i beseech you by the message of god please be patient and let's just finish this say after me in the name of jesus the spirit of the waster listen listen your confessions matter there is the spirit of a waster it can waste lives resources say again in the name of jesus the spirit of a waster the spirit of untimely death the spirit of infirmity i challenge you by the blood you have no hold over my life go 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 lift your voice and pray go untimely death the waster coming as ill health the waster coming as disappointment in business the waster the lord rebuke you The spirit of the waster. The baraka push koto brande ke para. Ekra katas kapela katashubre here. Makapanda katabarata. You are caused by the God of Heaven. Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny that has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens i decree and declare clear away for me lift your voice and pray my place in life my space in destiny i take my place in life i take my place in destiny 
never will it be said, Adam, where are you? I take my place. Aleda kaparu kafesh, neka branda kaparekesh, e protos kotu brandi gebalia, kapra kapara kotos kotu branda gebalia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Patterns and circles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus come to an end now. Open your mouth and pray. Patterns. It happened to your father. It happened to your mother. It happened to your elder brother. Now it's happening to you. Patterns. Cause it by the God of heaven. Negative cycles. Every two, two years, someone must die. Every six, six months, someone must die. Cause it by the God of heaven. Patterns. They don't stay in marriage. Patterns. They don't give birth to children. Cause it by the God of heaven. Pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by the blood of Jesus and the word of God. I sanctify my dreams. I sanctify my visions. I sanctify my prophetic experiences. No more manipulations. No more wrong revelations. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, declare sanctification. The devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you. The devil will not manipulate you with visions, lying visions. Please pray a few more minutes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant. I curse you now. Open your mouth and pray. Please pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you, coming as a woman that sleeps with you, coming as animals, all kinds of demonic things, curse them by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now you have prayed. Let me do the praying for you. I want you to be sensitive. We have a few minutes. There is a heavy anointing here. Listen, I'm going to, as I mentioned that case, the moment you are part of it, the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end. Are we together? Now we have just about two, three minutes. When that happens, I want you to bring the people out very quickly. Ushers, we have to work together. Right now, I declare, anyone here who is a victim of causes, right now, at the count of three, any cause sitting on your head, sitting on your destiny, causes that bring delay, causes that bring failure, causes at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, let that fire come. Bring them out right now. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Courses be broken now. Courses. Please help them. Whether you are an usher or not, help them. For sake of time. Courses. Every course powered by an altar standing to destroy you. 
I curse you by the God of heaven. Very quickly, bring them out. Curses. I'm arresting curses. Negative pronouncements. Hallelujah. Please quickly bring them. Now all of you listen to me, I'm praying. Right now, every altar connected to anyone every altar connected to anyone's foundation that is powering negative patterns right now i'm telling you i'm seeing fire may that fire engulf that pattern now altars catch fire or oh, patash kotaka bring them out altars catch fire catch fire catch fire Catch fire, catch fire by the power of the Holy Ghost. Anatas katika tepa rakatos, eprakatos kotos neka tepa lakatos yata, emprakati katia. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit. You are living your life, but you know this is another man's script. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. I declare in the name of Jesus be delivered now be delivered now hear me anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you knowingly or knowingly and that became the token of witchcraft every shrine where that thing is right now i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i set it on fire now tokens and instruments of connection i set it on fire i set it on fire now i set it on fire now Help that woman, please. I set it on fire now. Listen. Listen to me. We're wrapping up. A kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy. But Judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal. A handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy. This is the one to destroy. I'm praying again. Whatever left you, knowingly or unknowingly, whatever you receive, knowingly or unknowingly, that is being used as a token of manipulation, I pray for you, Koinonia, by the God who called me, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. Everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive, they sat on altars powering Satan and not allowing people to move. There are whole villages and territories. They renew their life with young people and they remain there. I call upon the God of heaven. May the ground open and swallow them this moment. Help them, please. Help them, help them. May the ground open. May the ground open and swallow them now. Bring them out, please. May the ground open and swallow them now. The spirit of poverty of lack and hardship all of you are graduates but no job everybody with masters phd yet nothing to write home about father let fire right now from heaven every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of jesus be destroyed now be destroyed now
hear me if there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die listen when you read the book of esther you will see that by divination a date was already put to attack the jews i pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and satan that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing i i pray for you now may death leave you alone we're wrapping up hear me if you are a firstborn here in the name of jesus i pray for you the cause that tries to follow firstborns the ones who open the womb they are the ones who become the the chief victims i pray for you here by the power that raised christ from the dead if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward i command it right now at the count of three may fire come upon that altar one two three take that fire now take that fire now the cause of first bonds i curse you right now the cause of first bonds i capatas kotebata i curse you right now hear me if you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family you are the first to be lifted to that level i pray for you in the name of jesus the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were in jesus name may that altar be destroyed now help them please may that altar be destroyed now two more prayers and we're done my goodness fire is burning in this place everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit whether it's your favor your job your lifting your children your relationships in the name of jesus this moment by the power of the name the blood and the word i declare a release now i announce a prophetic jubilee now in the name of jesus christ final prayer please place your hand on your head prophetically your head is a sign of your glory you will be surprised at what will happen to you now i want to pray for you father you instructed that we do this i stand by the priestly the apostolic and the prophetic mantle and i pray over your people the head of a man is a symbol of his glory i want to pray for you something will happen to you now every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of samson every spirit in the similitude of delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short financial delilahs ministerial delilahs career delilahs in the name of jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of samson grew back in the realm of the spirit i pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of god rest on it now rest on it now i make this declaration by prophecy therefore that in the name of jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of jesus you will never go down again you will never go down again
in the name of Jesus. We've overshot our time. Lift. I want you to shout this loud and clear. Just help us under the anointing. Say, Father, I decree and declare that every legal access Satan has over my life, over my destiny, I invoke the blood and I declare right now causes, yokes, activities of ancestry be broken forever. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance. Someone is praying. Bring to an end. Don't fear the devil. You have authority redeemed by the blood. You have no legal hold over my life. You have no legal hold. The blood speaks. The blood speaks. The blood speaks. You have no legal hold over my life. The blood speaks. Be patient, we're almost done, but pray. This is a matter of your destiny. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Covenants of delay. Covenants of untimely death. Ah, I tell you, I sense, I sense such, such a strong anointing. We are still praying. Covenants of retrogression. Covenants of failure. By the blood of Jesus, help them. I declare, be broken now. Open your mouth and pray. Be broken. Ordinances of fathers tying down the destinies of God's people be broken, be broken, redeemed by the blood, redeemed by the blood, redeemed by the blood. The ransom has been paid, a bezel has been made, the father is satisfied. Hallelujah. Shout it very loud and clear. Say seasons of weeping. Seasons of shame, seasons of embarrassment, seasons of retrogression by the power of the blood come to an end in my life. Now, lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Seasons of shame, reproach, embarrassment come to an end in the name of Jesus. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Come to an end. Come to an end. Palekata prakatos koto prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. 
you are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration say in the name of jesus everything that has left me that should not have left by the blood by the name by the word i call you back to my destiny open your mouth and begin to pray opportunities by the spirit of god relationships by the spirit of god resources by the spirit of god mantles by the spirit of god restoration 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 hallelujah hallelujah please don't be tired i know that i've stretched you a bit but i beseech you by the message of god please be patient and let's just finish this say after me in the name of jesus the spirit of the waster listen listen your confessions matter there is the spirit of a waster it can waste lives resources say again in the name of jesus the spirit of a waster the spirit of untimely death the spirit of infirmity i challenge you by the blood you have no hold over my life go 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 lift your voice and pray go untimely death the waster coming as ill health the waster coming as disappointment in business the waster the lord rebuke you The spirit of the waster. You are caused by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny that has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens i decree and declare clear away for me lift your voice and pray my place in life my space in destiny i take my place in life i take my place in destiny never will it be said adam where are you i take my place Aleda kaparu kapesh, naka branda kaparekesh, e protosko to brandi gebalia, kapra kapara kotosko to brande gebale gebia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Patterns and circles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus come to an end now open your mouth and pray patterns it happened to your father it happened to your mother it happened to your elder brother now it's happening to you patterns caused it by the god of heaven negative cycles every two two years someone must die every six six months someone must die caused it by the god of heaven patterns they don't stay in marriage patterns they don't give birth to children Cursed by the God of heaven. Please pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by the blood of Jesus. And the word of God I sanctify my dreams I sanctify my visions I sanctify my prophetic experiences no more manipulations no more wrong revelations open your mouth and pray 
pray, declare sanctification. The devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you. The devil will not manipulate you with visions, lying visions. Please pray a few more minutes. Kaprenda gatabaraka tosko tu brekia. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant. I curse you now. Open your mouth and pray. Please pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you, coming as a woman that sleeps with you, coming as animals, all kinds of demonic things, curse them by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now you have prayed. Let me do the praying for you. I want you to be sensitive. We have a few minutes. There is a heavy anointing here. Listen, I'm going to, as I mentioned that case, the moment you are part of it, the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end. Are we together? Now we have just about two, three minutes. When that happens, I want you to bring the people out very quickly. Ushers, we have to work together. Right now, I declare, anyone here who is a victim of causes, right now, at the count of three, any cause sitting on your head, sitting on your destiny, causes that bring delay, causes that bring failure, causes at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, let that fire come, bring them out right now. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Causes, be broken now. Causes, please help them, whether you are an usher or not, help them. For sake of time. Causes, every cause powered by an altar standing to destroy you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Very quickly, bring them out. Curses. I'm arresting curses. Negative pronouncements. Hallelujah. Please quickly bring them. Now all of you listen to me, I'm praying. Right now, every altar connected to anyone apakanata sanika paratusia. Every altar connected to anyone's foundation that is powering negative patterns right now i'm telling you i'm seeing fire may that fire engulf that pattern now altars catch fire oh patash koteka bring them out altars catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire by the power of the holy ghost Anatas katika tepa rakatos, eprakatos kotusa neka tepa lakatos yata, emprekati katia. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit. You are living your life, but you know this is another man's script. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. 
anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you knowingly or unknowingly and that became the token of witchcraft every shrine where that thing is right now i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i set it on fire now tokens and instruments of connection i set it on fire i set it on fire now i set it on fire now help that woman please i set it on fire now listen listen to me we're wrapping up a kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy but judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal a handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy this is the one to destroy i'm praying again whatever left you knowingly or unknowingly whatever you receive knowingly or unknowingly that is being used as a token of manipulation i pray for you koinonia by the god who called me be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now hear me everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive they sat on altars powering satan and not allowing people to move there are whole villages and territories they renew their life with young people and they remain there i call upon the god of heaven may the ground open and swallow them this moment help them please help them help them may the ground open up May the ground open and swallow them now. Bring them out, please. May the ground open and swallow them now. The spirit of poverty, of lack and hardship, all of you are graduates but no job everybody with masters phd yet nothing to write home about father let fire right now from heaven every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of jesus be destroyed now be destroyed now hear me if there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die listen when you read the book of esther you will see that by divination a date was already put to attack the jews i pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and satan that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing i i pray for you now may death leave you alone we're wrapping up hear me if you are a firstborn here in the name of jesus i pray for you the cause that tries to follow firstborns, the ones who open the womb, they are the ones who become the, the chief victims. I pray for you here, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward, I command it right now, at the count of three, may fire come upon that altar. One, two, three, take that fire now. Take that fire now. The cause of first bonds. I curse you right now. The cause of first bonds. I capatas kotebata. I curse you right now. Hear me. If you are the first 
to rise beyond a certain level in your family you are the first to be lifted to that level i pray for you in the name of jesus the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were in jesus name may that altar be destroyed now help them please may that altar be destroyed now Two more prayers and we're done. My goodness, fire is burning in this place. Everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit, whether it's your favor, your job, your lifting, your children, your relationships, in the name of Jesus, this moment, by the power of the name, the blood, and the word, I declare a release now. I announce a prophetic jubilee now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Final prayer. Please place your hand on your head prophetically. Your head is a sign of your glory. You will be surprised at what will happen to you now. I want to pray for you. Father, you instructed that we do this. I stand by the priestly, the apostolic and the prophetic mantle. And I pray over your people. The head of a man is a symbol of his glory. I want to pray for you. Something will happen to you now. Every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of Samson. Every spirit in the similitude of Delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short. Financial Delilahs, ministerial Delilahs, career Delilahs. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, the same way the hair of Samson grew back. In the realm of the spirit, I pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of god rest on it now rest on it now i make this declaration by prophecy therefore that in the name of jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of Jesus, you will never go down again. You will never go down again. In the name of Jesus, we've overshot our time. Lift. I want you to shout this loud and clear. Just have those under the anointing. Say, Father, I decree and declare that every legal access Satan has over my life, over my destiny, I invoke the blood and I declare right now causes, yokes, activities of ancestry be broken forever. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance. Someone is praying. Bring to an end. Don't fear the devil. You have authority redeemed by the blood. you have no legal hold over my life you have no legal hold the blood speaks the blood speaks the blood speaks you have no legal hold over my life the blood speaks the blood speaks 
Be patient, we're almost done, but pray. This is a matter of your destiny. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Covenants of delay. Covenants of untimely death. Ah, I tell you, I sense, I sense such, such a strong anointing. We are still praying. Covenants of retrogression. Covenants of failure. By the blood of Jesus, help them. I declare, be broken now. Open your mouth and pray. Be broken. Ordinances of fathers. Tying down the destinies of God's people. Be broken. Be broken. Redeemed by the blood. Redeemed by the blood. Redeemed by the blood. The ransom has been paid. A bezel has been made. The Father is satisfied. Shabakata bakatos koto brenda kete. Ekrakata barakatos koto brenda kete lekatosia. Embraka bakatos koto brenda kete lekete bariakata. Shane kete shalakatos koto brenda kete balakata. Hallelujah. Shout it very loud and clear. Say seasons of weeping. Seasons of shame. Seasons of embarrassment. Seasons of retrogression. By the power of the blood. Come to an end in my life. Now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Seasons of shame. Reproach, embarrassment, come to an end in the name of Jesus. Come to an end in the name of Jesus. Come to an end. Come to an end. Palekata prakatos koto prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. You are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration. Say in the name of Jesus. Everything that has left me that should not have left by the blood by the name by the word I call you back to my destiny open your mouth and begin to pray opportunities by the spirit of God relationships by the spirit of God resources by the spirit of God mantles by the spirit of God Parada bakata pranda katos kati lakapa. E prakatos koto prakatos kati malakata. Shaprekate bata. Restoration by the Spirit of God. 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 Restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. I know that I've stretched you a bit, but I beseech you by the mercies of God. Please be patient and let's just finish this. Say after me, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of the waster. Listen, listen. Your confessions matter. There is the spirit of a waster. It can waste lives, resources. Say again, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of a waster. 
the spirit of untimely death the spirit of infirmity i challenge you by the blood you have no hold over my life go 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 lift your voice and pray go untimely death the waster coming as ill health the waster coming as disappointment in business the waster the lord rebuke you the spirit of the waster you are caused by the god of heaven hallelujah shout it after me say in the name of jesus my place in life and destiny that has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens i decree and declare clear away for me lift your voice and pray my place in life my space in destiny i take my place in life i take my place in destiny never will it be said adam where are you i take my place Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Patterns and circles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus come to an end now. Open your mouth and pray. Patterns. It happened to your father. It happened to your mother. It happened to your elder brother. Now it's happening to you. Patterns. Cause it by the God of heaven. Negative cycles. Every two, two years, someone must die. Every six, six months, someone must die. Cause it by the God of heaven. Patterns. They don't stay in marriage. Patterns. They don't give birth to children. Cause it by the God of heaven. Please pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by the blood of Jesus and the word of God. I sanctify my dreams. I sanctify my visions. I sanctify my prophetic experiences. No more manipulations. No more wrong revelations. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, declare sanctification. The devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you. The devil will not manipulate you with visions, lying visions. Please pray, few more minutes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant. I curse you now. Open your mouth and pray. Please pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you, coming as a woman that sleeps with you, coming as animals, all kinds of demonic things, curse them by the God of heaven.
Haleluya. Haleluya. Praise God. Now you have prayed. Let me do the praying for you. I want you to be sensitive. We have a few minutes. There is a heavy anointing here. Listen. I'm going to, as I mentioned that case, the moment you are part of it, the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end. Are we together? Now, we have just about two, three minutes. When that happens, I want you to bring the people out very quickly. Ushers, we have to work together. Right now, I declare, anyone here who is a victim of causes, right now, at the count of three, any cause sitting on your head, sitting on your destiny, causes that bring delay, causes that bring failure, causes matana katabata, at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, let that fire come, bring them out right now. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Causes, be broken now. Causes, please help them, whether you are an usher or not, help them. For sake of time, causes every cause powered by an altar standing to destroy you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Very quickly, bring them out. Causes, I'm arresting causes, negative pronouncements. Hallelujah. Please quickly bring them. Now all of you listen to me, I'm praying. Right now, every altar connected to anyone apakanata sanika paratusia. Every altar connected to anyone's foundation that is powering negative patterns. Right now, I'm telling you, I'm seeing fire. May that fire engulf that pattern now. Altars, touch fire. Oh, Patash Koteka, bring them out. Altars, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire by the power of the Holy Ghost. Anatas Katika Tepa Rakatos, Eprekatos Kotus and Nekatepa Lakatos Yata, Emprekatikati. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here. That has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit you are living your life but you know this is another man's script by the power that raised christ from the dead i declare in the name of jesus be delivered now be delivered now Hear me, anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you, knowingly or knowingly, and that became the token of witchcraft, every shrine where that thing is right now, I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic, I set it on fire now. Tokens and instruments of connection, I set it on fire, I set it on fire now. I set it on fire now. Help that woman, please. I set it on fire now. Listen. Listen to me. We're wrapping up. A kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy. But Judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal. A handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy. This is the one to destroy. I'm praying again. Whatever left you, knowingly or unknowingly, whatever you receive, knowingly or unknowingly, that is being used as a token of manipulation, I pray for you, Koinonia, by the God who called me, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. 
everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive they sat on altars powering satan and not allowing people to move there are whole villages and territories they renew their life with young people and they remain there i call upon the god of heaven may the ground open and swallow them this moment help them please help them help them may the ground open may the ground open and swallow them now bring them out please may the ground open and swallow them now the spirit of poverty of lack and hardship all of you are graduates but no job everybody with masters phd yet nothing to write home about father let fire right now from heaven every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of jesus be destroyed now be destroyed now hear me if there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die listen when you read the book of esther you will see that by divination a date was already put to attack the jews i pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and satan that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing i i pray for you now may death leave you alone people of god i am not just coming to do a man of god's thing no i am sent there is a mandate and there is an assignment and it's an honor to bring this light that came from heaven to the plateau the light that will ignite men the light that will call men into supernatural dimensions of ministry aside from the healings and the miracles hear me that light that came from his majesty hear me there are people in this place this night there will be wells of the prophetic that will be opened afresh again some of you have seen this day in your dreams some of you have seen it in visions for some of you it's not new you know what i'm saying god already showed you that one day you will be standing face to face with destiny please wherever you are lift your voice in one minute cry from the depth of your heart let this be my night of visitation lift your voice and pray Shira masena na na matira masia na na na. Shelenta skala baka pranda katos kale fasia. Shelenta skede baratos koto bahasiata. Just you will never be the same. The church on the plateau, you will never be the same. I bring you grace from the throne. I bring you fire from his majesty. Are you praying? Forget about what is happening. Focus on Jesus. Pastors pray. Pray for your ministry. Prayer warriors pray women in ministry pray business people pray politicians pray there is a visitation upon the plateau hallelujah now please listen to me please listen to me we're about to pray 
as I came in, I came in a bit late. And as I sat here, I saw standing just at that screen, there was a large angel standing there, right here, standing there. And I saw them holding vials of oil. And I knew immediately, I knew the significance of what I was seeing. And I'm praying because the spirit of God and the angelic, there are impartations. The front is filled. You don't have to bring people out again. Please, just help them wherever you are. In one minute, wherever you are, I'd like you to pray every grace that you know that is available, that you need for your life, for business, for ministry. Please lift your voice and pray. Call it by faith. Call it by faith. Call it by faith. Your ministry is about to step into a new level. I assure you, it won't be ministry as usual. The God of miracles, your business, your spiritual life. There are many of you, God is calling you a new order of prayer and intercession, a new order of fastings, new dimensions of revelation, new levels of the prophetic. Don't be tired of praying. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please let me have your attention. May I request respectfully speaking. Reverend Akila. If we can have seven of the pastors and the leaders just seven as you would select i would want them to come and stand with me prophetically here we are going to pray over the church on the plateau in unity and we're going to say lord let this be a new season we are standing prophetically okay please seven at least let there be one woman if it's possible please who represents the gates we are going to pray something must happen in this land all of you don't keep watching just keep praying we are praying for plateau. Forget about the sick. Forget about all of this. We are praying. It's a new season. We are going to stand in unity. Regardless of doctrinal differences. Regardless of the challenges we have here and there. There are too small a reason. Hear me plateau. There is much that God wants to do. Divided we truly fall. It is in unity that we stand. The days of celebrity Christianity is over. We must stand as one people in the name of Jesus and lift up that banner of the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now watch this. Hold on please. This is what we are going to do. Everyone inside the overflow, those following from whatever nation, we are going to pray for a global audience, but for now, the attention is on the plateau. God's own state, a state he has so exalted, yet to come into its prophetic destiny. But we are standing as servants of God to say, no longer will it remain a prophetic word far there. We have come to give it life that it starts from now. Some of you have seen it. You have prophesied it in your churches and your groups that a day will come when God will move this way. We cannot prolong anymore. It's time to fulfill prophecy. Some of our fathers prophesied it on the plateau and went to be with the Lord without seeing it. 
Let it happen in our lifetime. Maranatha, come. Hallelujah. Now, this is what will happen. I will just allow one or two of our fathers to just pray and make decrees on behalf of all of us. And then we will stand in unity and speak over the church in plateau, tearing down the walls of divide, tearing down the walls of spiritual unseriousness. And we are going to pray that the fire from heaven will fall upon the church in plateau, that on the streets, in businesses, in government, in parliament, from the government house to every ministry, every parastatal, let there be an invasion of the life and the power of Jesus. We have to pray for the destiny of our children. We cannot lose the children in plateau to drugs. We cannot lose the children in plateau to violence and all kinds of occultism. It's time to take back what God has given to us. Are you in agreement? Open your mouth and begin to pray. Jesus. Oh, city of Jaws. Oh, Plateau. The sons of the strangers devour you no more. Desecrate you no more. Oh, city of Jaws. Oh, Plateau. Take your place once again. Take your place once again. Let revival break forth from the city of Jaws to the nations of the world. Do it, Jehovah. Do it, Jehovah. Do it, Jehovah. Watch over your word and perform your word. Amen. Plateau, the land of hills and valleys and standing waters. Your enemies will never sit on you anymore. Your enemies will never take your lands anymore. Your enemies will never laugh at you anymore. The destinies that have been trapped on the land of Plato shall be set free. God Almighty is going to set us free. Plato shall be free. The name of Plato shall be heard all over the world. The children of Plato will be performers of miracles and wonders because the God of Israel is with us. God bless you all. Praise the Lord. Now, we're, we're conserving time but it's an honor to stand with a few of the representatives, the ministers, fathers, veterans in the gospel. Now, please listen very carefully. I want to make this decree in the name of the Lord. I stand here only by the election of grace. But I want us to believe as we make these declarations. Hallelujah. Father, we declare, standing in faith, as the church upon the plateau let the days of fighting and division come to an end now let the days of ill speakings tearing down one another based on tribal sentiment let it come to an end now in the name of jesus We stand in faith and corporately as a church we repent of anything that is giving Satan legal access over the plateau we plead the blood of Jesus on the plateau we plead the blood of Jesus over every altar that is speaking against the destiny of plateau state let mercy triumph over judgment for the Bible declares, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turning from their wicked ways, it says I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sins and heal their lands. We declare blood to be healed in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare, O earth, 
hear you the word of the Lord. Yield your increase to the inhabitants of this state. All of the over 17 local governments, I hope I'm right, we declare, let revival fire from this point spread all through in the name of Jesus. Every local government, may God raise men and women of fire. We pray for all the churches, we pray for all the prayer groups, all the mission agencies, all the platforms that lift up the name of Jesus, fresh impartation upon them. We're still praying. We pray for the government and all the politicians here represented. We pray for our traditional rulers in the name of Jesus. May they be advised by right people. Every council of Ahitophel, we conquer, we come against it in the name of Jesus. Father, the spirit of untimely death that is eating people up on the plateau, in the name of Jesus, we banish that spirit forever. The spirit of poverty and hardship eating up the destinies of people regardless of their education regardless their exposure we declare that that spirit comes under judgment in the name of jesus father once again let mantles return to the plateau once again let apostles rise from the plateau once again let evangelists rise from the plateau once again let prophets rise from the plateau hear me whoever has vowed that over his dead body for plateau to rise i command the earth to open and swallow them i'm saying it by the apostolic and the prophetic any human agent in fraternity with darkness that has vowed that this state will not rise we release a sword of judgment let the earth open and swallow them father let the gospel of jesus christ not die on the plateau in the name of jesus as our fathers who have gone ahead of us some of them have died some of them have a few more years they are wrapping up their stay lord raise younger people let there be succession let there be transference of graces raise younger people younger evangelists people of integrity people of character people of fire in the name of jesus now listen the national anthem of nigeria says that the labor of our heroes past should not be in vain it's not just a political statement it is also a spiritual statement let it not be that the labor over the gospel in this land plateau has survived so much and africa as a continent has survived so much therefore we make decree lord remember the blood of those who have died for the gospel remember the blood of those who were killed serving you remember the blood of the matthias on this land because you are a covenant keeping god let their blood not be in vain in the name of jesus we command greater dimensions of development on the plateau. We command jobs for our young people. In the name of Jesus. I pray for the businessmen on the plateau. May the grace of God rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. There are three spirits that I'm trusting will, will crush out of the plateau. Number one is the spirit of drunkenness number two listen to me i'm saying this respectfully the spirit of irresponsibility among young people and number three the spirit of lateness is a cause to do things too late are we together 40 years 50 years still in your father's house 60 years still not established in the name of jesus let the spirit of drunkenness 
drugs and all kinds of ills and vices we banish it from the plateau in the name of Jesus number two the spirit that makes young people to not be responsible in the name of Jesus we command that spirit out of our territory and number three we pray some of our parents in their 20s were already doing exploits in ministry and in business there were people who were heads of state in this nation in their early 30s there is no the spirit of lateness a snail-like achievement please men and women of god let's take this prayer request back to our altars and let us pray it it must leave the plateau again we declare the spirit of lateness in this city we banish you forever and in the name of Jesus the same way we are standing here by faith we make a declaration anybody who will divide the church anybody who will bring enmity among the church we banish them from this city in the name of Jesus please listen to me the days of church fighting church pastor fighting pastor we have agreed that there are many people who need to grow we have agreed that we are not at the same spiritual level but let me tell you be patient and allow people grow are we together now when you see something wrong with your fellow man of God pray for them support them you hear that armed robbers came to steal from a church don't rejoice and clap and say it didn't come to my church don't make the mistake of Esther Mordecai gave her a warning and said don't you think if they finish with the Jews you will be spared she wanted to make the mistake of Vashti we are the body of Christ the pain of one is the pain of everyone if only one church is growing and the rest are suffering it is a it is a loss to everybody no single church no matter how accurate has the ability to single-handedly bring the global harvest it will be a corporate activity so whether you have 10 members or 2,000 members or 1,000 members we must have mutual honor to ourselves do not disregard those producing results they are not producing results by mistake honor them for the results they command do not downplay the fathers they deserve their honor don't say this is orthodox this is pentecostal pentecostal charismatics be careful let's stop insulting our fathers in what we call the orthodox churches they may not be filled with the holy ghost as you know they may not bring revelation but there is wisdom they have lasted more than many young people respect them for what they have don't go around using revelation and anointing to insult the fathers some of these men have labored for the gospel they may not be able to speak well but they deserve our honor and hear me if you have gone ahead to offend any father of faith here go and look for him and apologize we're not acting this thing if it's real revival we're looking for these are the steps that lead to bible based apostolic revival are we together let me challenge everyone not to demean you but congregations please pray for your men of god please respect everyone who names the name of christ carrying the gospel every man or woman heads of mission agencies heads of churches you have no idea on the attack that the average man faces all of these servants of god will tell you some of them the attack is on their children some of them the attack is on their health while you are sleeping your pastor is awake praying while you are eating he's fasting we must banish sarcasm from the plateau if you hear that a man of god is sick and is in jute don't celebrate and say i, I always didn't like him you should rush there whether you are a church member or not 
I hear you're a minister of the gospel and you are not feeling fine. I may not know you, but on behalf of me and my wife, let me pay for the bill. Let me tell you this. If we carry this spirit, there will be no room for the devil to destroy us here. And let me say this finally. I apologize for keeping you here, sirs. For those of us that God has trusted with a bit of revelation, look up. There is a word of caution. Knowledge can puff up. For some of us who are opening to a bit of visions, a bit of prophecy, a bit of miracles, we are usually the ones who go around with our small world insulting people and mentoring young people to tear down others. Don't do that. Let the abundance of knowledge not bring pride. Let it bring humility and submission. So be cautioned, prayer groups, different para ministry agencies, do not sit down tearing down people. No, don't do that. If God opens your eyes and you see dimensions that a church should be entering into and they are not yet entering into, go on your knees and pray for them. God, open their eyes to see that light. Do not teach the young people to rebel. Rebellion does not bring glory to God. It was that scene of rebellion and treason that threw Lucifer from heaven to where he is. Let us not make that mistake. Lucifer has taught us that lesson already. Hallelujah. Again we declare, the church on the plateau is united. This is what I want you to do. After this conference, I'd like you to use your social media handles and say a united plateau not just politically but even spiritually write it this conference i permit you to do it now we are advocating a united plateau regardless church whatever it is we stand in unity in the name of jesus christ lord make us instruments of your peace where there is hatred let your can you sing it for me Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Walls of pride and prejudice shall cease. When we are your instruments of peace. We declare this prayer over Plato in the presence of the servants of God. And in the presence of God's people, let this dream and this prophetic word come to pass. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, sirs. Thank you. Let's honor them. Someone please stand to hold their hands while they go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Thank you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. Are you tired? Praise the name of the Lord. Can you lend me 10 minutes? Do I have 10 minutes with you? So that we'll pray. If I don't have a chance to pray for the sick and we stop here, I still feel fulfilled. Because God has done something that is more prophetic than you see. Praise the name of the Lord. But I need to at least pray for the sick. This is our last session. We may not take testimonies, but let's declare over the sick. And then we're about to pray for the requests. Praise the name of the Lord. This is the time you now pray. Lift your voice and pray. Father, everything I have written here, in the name of Jesus, I wave it goodbye forever. Water you turn into wine. Help me. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. Pray. None like None you. Like you. Into the darkness, hey. Into the darkness we shine. Out of the ashes, out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. There's no one like you. Celebrate Jesus. Our God is greater. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger.
Praise the name of the Lord. Now, no matter how we minister to people, we see in parts. But this is the most accurate representation of everyone's desire here. If there are still people bringing it, we have just a few seconds. Please do it quickly. I'm not standing here as one who is better than anyone by any means. Not at all. It is a privilege of the election of grace. But hear me. I dare to tell you that I have a covenant of answered prayer with God. The Lord left me a covenant. And this is why we do what we're doing. I assure you in the name of the Lord that if God be God, everything you dropped here, if it's to live your life, it must live your life. If it's to come into your life, it must come into your life. In the next one minute, wherever you are, stretch your hands to this request and begin to pray. Father, the end comes. The end comes. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Shake a pacatabarato sikata. Scatabaranda catabradegatias. Lekate proscoto parutasia. Miracles, oh God. Miracles, oh God. Shepa catapacato pradocotopatia. In the name of Jesus. Scataparoto soto barata. Ekate pacatos totopa. Turn impossible situations around. If our God is for us, and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stay? And if our God, if our God is for us, if our God, scatabarata go so much. Arise, O God, in your power. Arise in your majesty. Walk miracles in the life of your people. Then what can spend it for God? Oh, 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 in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that every impossible situation represented here, we turn it into a testimony now. We turn them into testimonies now. every barren situation receives an answer from heaven now every terminal disease receives an answer from heaven now hear me in the name of jesus prophetically i stand on this request and i declare the way i'm standing on it now every trouble that is above you i bring it under your feet now Please believe it. Please believe it. I bring it under your feet now. Some of you are writing this for your loved ones. They are not here. May the angel of the Lord's presence, wherever they are across this nation, across the globe, may their miracles follow them till it finds them. hear me every request here about the salvation or the transformation of a child a husband a wife i declare the goodness of god that leads men to repentance may it follow those individuals till they are saved every spirit that is back of the tragedies represented here we banish that spirit and we command it to live forever. The same way you have written these requests, that is the same way you will write down their answers. Hear me. 
any man in partnership with the gates of hell to see that this request do not come to pass tonight we release the sword of judgment all across this city let me pray for those who have written requests here listen we are not irresponsible people i know that for many people at least 50 or 60 percent of the prayer requests here i know by wisdom and i know by prophecy that they have to do with finances is that true because the pandemic has dealt a great blow even to the state and to the welfare of other people any christianity and any spiritual advocacy that neglects the well-being of the people is an irresponsible one whilst we are heavenly conscious whilst our attention remains over the things of the spirit we cannot be so careless as to ignore the pain that this pandemic has brought every time there was a pandemic it took prophecy to bring the territory out of financial troubles let me prophesy like elisha in the name of jesus over everyone who has gone down you've lost money in business you've lost money in investments something went wrong with your finances by the god of heaven and by the spirit of prophecy come out of that financial situation come out of that financial situation come out of that financial situation in the name of jesus hallelujah there are times when we have the privilege of listening to the news or talking with a few of your politicians in this city and one of the popular statements on the plateau is Bakudi. Why is this project not happening? There's no money for it. Let me tell you this. There is a mystery that made the raven to get bread and bring to Elijah at Brook Cherith. I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. By a means that we may not be able to explain, may God send financial help to the plateau. We attract investors in their tens and their hundreds. Very strategic programs that not just empower a few individuals, they will empower people from the grassroots to the highest level. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please hear me. There are still undeveloped land in this city. Am I right? There are this, it is called Plateau the Beautiful, and there are no sentiments about it. I don't know anything that does not grow here, except you don't plant it. May God raise investors, I am saying it again, who will make this place become one of the agricultural hubs of this nation and even Africa. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray wisdom upon the government. May God give them the grace and the wisdom to manage the available resources. In the name of Jesus Christ. If five loaf and two fish fed 5,000 people, then we speak to the reserves of Plateau. Be multiplied to feed everyone. Be multiplied to build roads. Be multiplied to rehabilitate schools. In the name of Jesus Christ. everyone here who is in politics and governance first we salute you and we appreciate you for your courage we salute you and we appreciate you it doesn't matter what party i'm not a politician at all we salute you and we appreciate you but then we encourage you in the name of the lord and we pray that the Lord will help you, whether as commissioners, whether as the judiciary, as workers in government. In the name of Jesus, probably some of them are following, some of them are watching here. We pray for the grace and the courage to do what is right. We pray that you be governed by the fear of the Lord. We pray that you be governed by conscience. 
we pray that you'll be governed by a sense of posterity may God grant us grace to do what our children will be proud of tomorrow in the name of Jesus Christ the temptation for self-centeredness the temptation for me myself and my tribesmen in the name of Jesus we banish we declare grace to conquer that temptation plateau state is for all of us and until we all rejoice we are not yet there in the name of Jesus Christ let me speak over the sick and the final impartation our time is gone I sincerely apologize if you are trusting God for a miracle in your body wherever you are please lay your hands there you don't have to come out you just lay your hands please lay your hands if it's a part of your body you cannot touch please do well to just place your hand on your chest I believe in miracles yesterday I worship people sang thank you please burn it please burn it some of the things there are private and personal and you can do well to set them on fire the same way it is burning that's how every devil that stands against you will roast to death in the name of Jesus hallelujah let's pray father in the name of Jesus there are people standing here with terminal diseases others standing here with death sentences I see some of you lifting photos of your loved ones who probably are in the hospital Lord you are a miracle God a miracle worker we have thought so much about that right now in the name of Jesus Christ even for those of you standing I see you those standing at the overflow standing on the trucks we are seeing you I like you to believe even as we pray in the name that is above all names every spirit that is back of any infirmity we sanction you by the word of the Lord and we declare your power broken over every sick one here in Jesus name be delivered right now in the name of Jesus now I declare every infirmity every disease from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed right now in the name of Jesus peptic ulcer be healed in the name of Jesus everyone here with sickle cell anemia we change that genotype now we change that blood group now in the name of Jesus please believe it every kind of cardiovascular challenge we correct it now by the power of the Holy Ghost every kind of blindness partial blindness complete blindness be healed now in the name of Jesus migraine headaches be healed in the name of Jesus deafness on one or both of your ears we command them open now in the name of Jesus everyone here who is barren it doesn't matter what the reason is according to the time of life return as a joyful mother of children high blood pressure we curse you now in the name of Jesus sugar diabetes we curse you in the name of Jesus every kind of malignant growth around your body lumps around the breast area fibroids around the abdominal area we command you shrink and die now in the name of Jesus HIV be healed now in the name of Jesus cancers of all sorts ulcers of all sorts be healed now in the name of Jesus heart palpitations in the name of Jesus be healed now I'm seeing someone you get so dizzy you can't even stand in the Sun for a few minutes you begin to gasp it's like your breath is leaving you the Lord is healing you right now in the name of Jesus Christ was he yesterday or today the Lord healed a lady with the issue of blood I'm seeing many people having those kinds of irregularities in the name of Jesus be healed right now 
every kind of bone condition every kind of bone condition that has led to any sort of deformity whatsoever be corrected now in the name of Jesus and let me declare over you if there is anyone here that the spirit of death is upon and the devil is already planning that it will be said about you survived by in the name of Jesus Christ I command death to pass over you be healed in the name of Jesus whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed right now and the sickness that leaves you even after this conference this crusade may it never return to you in Jesus name for those of you who are standing in for your loved ones holding their photos lifting their faces on your phones I can see them in the name of Jesus may the power that raised Christ from the dead visit them in the hospitals bringing healing and perfect soundness in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now please open your heart for the impartation this will be my last session and we're done I believe in impartation when Saul lost his father's donkey the Bible says they could not find the donkey and all three of them went in search of a prophet called Samuel and then the Bible declares that when they met Samuel at the gate of the city Samuel said you go up and I will tell you what is in your heart listen as soon as Saul met Samuel three things happened number one the donkey that was missing for a very long time mysteriously found its way there is restoration with the prophetic it can restore let me speak to you everything you have lost relationships finances mantles possibilities your job by the God of heaven and here at this crusade in the name of Jesus I declare supernatural restoration hear me if you have the faith to believe I declare that 90 days from now within three months by the God of heaven like it happened when the ark of God was taken to the house of Obed Edom it was in three months God turned the life of that family around in three months may God bring supernatural restoration hallelujah now watch this Samuel told Saul that the donkey you have been looking for has been found blessing number two he said on your way returning you will meet three strangers holding two loaf of bread they will salute you that is honor and they will give to you that is favor let me speak over your life the proof of favor is not money the proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men in the name of Jesus Christ both honor and favor may my God allow it rest on your life now Honor gives you visibility. Favor gives you access. Honor gives you visibility. Favor gives you access. I prophesied honor gives you visibility. And favor gives you access. Number three. Now, you don't have to bring anyone under the anointing out. Whether you're an usher or not. If anyone falls under the anointing, just help them where they are so they don't hurt themselves. It says you will come to the garrison of the Philistines. That when you come there, a grace you did not leave home with will return with you. And when they saw Saul prophesying, they said, Is Saul also one of the prophets? Listen to me. Impartation is powerful, it has been abused. 
but when the anointing is administered within the jurisdiction of balance and scripture it can work wonders in the life of the recipients i am a product of many anointings there is a grace for speed there is a grace listen i want to release that grace that in one year a man can achieve what in a decade he's not been able to achieve i pray for you i stretch my hands from my right to my left from the front to the back my god and my king and my savior upon someone in this place help them please may the grace for speed come on you take that grace take that grace take that grace supernatural achievements on the plateau in the name of jesus speed in business speed in ministry in the name of jesus receive that grace hear me there is a grace for favor i call it the esther anointing esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the b part it says and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her esther chapter 2 verse 17 and the king loved esther more than all the virgins and he made her queen instead of vashti exodus chapter 3 verse 21 i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty i declare by this impartation of favor the season of emptiness in your life emptiness in your church emptiness in your business emptiness in family in career it comes to end in the name of jesus take that anointing take that anointing take that anointing favor in the morning favor in the afternoon favor in the evening in the name of jesus just help those under the anointing the last prayer because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness it says therefore god even i god hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows let me tell you how it works there is a serious prayer i want to pray for you right now it's called the ministry of destiny help us listen to me all blessings come from god through men to men please hold on in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who loves you matters do not say men do not matter uh -uh. all blessings your prayer requests some of them written here some of them they are in the hands of a man one signature help this person that's it it can change don't downplay man when you're honoring god as the king seated on the throne that's fine but with the dynamics of excelling in the cosmos you cannot ignore men and rise my life today is a product of the endorsement the advocacy of men there are four kinds of people you will always need in your life number one they are called divine connectors they cannot help you but they know who can help you the slave girl and the king and naman she could not have the she didn't have the power to help him but she could take him to a prophet the key to receiving from divine connectors is discernment because many times they will come in a form that you may not appreciate number two you need men of influence men who have labored through their track record to become gatekeepers of industries gatekeepers of mountains one endorsement joseph i know you can interpret dreams but until pharaoh calls you you will remain in the prison the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon you need men of influence it the body of jesus christ your jesus was hanging on the cross there no prayer warriors prayer could bring it down it took a man of influence called joseph of arimathea who used his influence with the government of the day to bring the body of jesus down 
You need men of influence. As a pastor, as a businessman, as families. Number three, you need gifted men. Gifted men will minimize wastages in your life. You need men of skill. David was a man of skill. He didn't just kill Goliath because he was anointed. The Benjamites, historically speaking, were people who had mastered the art of the sling. It was said they could diverge arrows with a sling. You need skillful people. One skillful man, their business people, will save you from paying salaries of 100 people without results. You need gifted people. The greatest corporations in the world are full of very gifted people. Maximum output. Output that justifies the resources committed. And then number four, still talking of destiny helpers, you need gift, you need burden bearers. There are people who will be in your life not for your going forward, but to keep you from going backward. They are called burden bearers. Woe betides a leader who does not have burden bearers in your dark days. If you are Jesus and you do not have Simon of Cyrene, you may not get to Golgotha, even though you are Jesus. There are many leaders who have served people for years, but all they had in their lives were gifted people who were taking, taking, taking. And when days came when they needed help, there was nobody. Burden bearers are not looking for your money. They are not looking for anointing. Their assignment is to be with you there. Ruth told Naomi, your God will be my God. Your people will be my people. If we die, we die here. Burden bearers do not stand with you alone. They die with you. This is a message already. Because I'm going to speak it over your life. There are CEOs right now. You had all kinds of people. But when your company plunged down, they left you alone. Where were the 5,000 people that Jesus fed when he was on the cross? Where were the recipients of his miracle? Where was the woman with the issue of blood when he was on the cross? They even preferred to release a criminal. There are many parents today who serve people, raise people in their homes. Many people came from the villages. They went down to university, but in old age, they are alone. There is nobody to stand by them. They are sick in the hospital and they are the mercy of doctors and nurses. You need the prayer I'm praying for you. So that when I declare destiny helpers, I'm talking of divine connectors. I'm talking of men of influence. I'm talking of gifted people. And I'm talking of burden bearers. Are you ready to receive? In the name of Jesus, these four groups of helpers, I stand by the God of heaven and I declare over you, especially as leaders, spiritual leaders, political leaders, business leaders, may they show up even in this season in the name of Jesus. May they show up in this season in the name of Jesus. Now I pray for you. There is a grace for signs and wonders. There is a grace that grants you the unction to pray. Many of you, it was not like this when you started with God. But as it is, your prayer life has gone down. And this affects even preachers. Your word life, your fire for God. When you started, it was not this way. You could fast and pray, but some of you, the distractions of life. Some of you, maybe children, I want to pray, a rekindling of fire. Those days on the plateau, they used to sing a song, do not let my light go cold. I'm crying out, light the fire again. I pray for you. Anyone whose spiritual life has gone down, listen, even if you receive money, even if you receive political titles, if your spiritual life is down, you are not all right. I pray for you. Fresh fire upon your prayer altar. Fresh fire upon your prayer altar. The grace to pray. The grace to fast. The grace to intercede. The grace to take God serious. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The grace and the courage to edit wrong associations. I decree and declare. Don't say we've been like that. Anybody who will not be a contributor to kingdom come. Nor the betterment of your destiny. I separate you from them forever. Yeah. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Return back with signs, grace for signs and wonders. Return back with the grace to heal the sick. Return back with the grace to raise the dead. Return back with the grace to cast out demons. I agree by faith with every man of God here. The next time you climb your altar, fire upon that altar. Evangelistic fire, healing fire, deliverance fire in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. We've come to the rock. We've come to the rock. The rock. The rock from the UK. Listen. I just need the guitar. While you are playing, I want everyone to begin to prophesy to every mountain that stands before you. This is under the corporate anointing. Who are thou mounting before Zerubbabel? I come by the unction of worship and I declare that that mountain you must be made plain. Come on, lift your voice, house of David. Prophesy. Prophesy. I prophesied as I was commanded. I prophesied as I was commanded. And there was a sound. Don't be silent. Don't be tired. You are commanding victories in the spirit. We decree it in the name of Jesus. Here are this worship and miracles. We command by the Spirit. Mountains of finances. We command by the Spirit. Mountains of sickness. For when God shows up, everything that is not Him must give way. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen, let me tell you. Many of you are shifting things in the spirit. That is God for you. Forever, oh Lord, thy word is settled. It's not a special number. Listen to what you are saying. Forever, oh Lord, your word concerning my victories, your word concerning my lifting. Not the recession will stop it. Not the hatred of man can stop it. So I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. That you're the son of God. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Jesus. That you can change our lives. That you can change and shift our destinies. That you can bring new anointings in our ministries. Yes, Lord, we believe. Yesterday, the Lord did mighty things in Abelkota, and one of it that touched me so much, not many of you were there, but whilst I was ministering by the Spirit, the Lord brought forth a few women and two of them, very strangely. One of the women had been barren for 23 years, 23 years another friend that she invited from lagos here am i right pastor 27 years a combination of 50 years two women now 
if all you pray for them for is to have a child you still cheated them 27 years now the bible says if a thief be caught you don't return what you stole because while you stole it someone suffered something so you return plus the interest that matches the time wasted are we together we're about to pray i we will soon round up please be patient with me there are things that the devil has taken some of us years has been eating from our lives you are not where you should be now I, i'm not trying to condemn you but it's not a lie are we together now you went to school at 25 you graduated at 33 you got a job at 41 when will you retire but there is a system in the kingdom hi that overnight the rod of a priest boarded it is not normal for trees to grow. no 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 the sequence is that it starts coming out gradually and will take two or three years but in the presence of god a rod not connected to a root all of a sudden boarded how many of you believe here that god in one month can compress something that that would have been we are going to sing this song again and while you sing it i like you to see strange liftings that you stand here to testify and your testimony is this they say talk now you say I, i'm trying to i'm trying to look what god did in my family in one month listen there are people who should not have one child alone the time they've, they've spent is too long you should have at least twins or triplets there are people who should not just have a job a job of hundred thousand after 20 years of waiting that's not a testimony that god will shift you in a way and manner there are people here you are supposed to have been in ministry since the last 10 years you should have been in dimensions but something happened and the devil stole years i like you to pray and say father every year it must be recovered i'm leaving nothing to satan it is within your power come on house of david we're rounding up Lord, let there be a restoration of the years the canker worm ate, the years the palmer worm ate. There must be a restoration of every fortune, a restoration of every lifting, a restoration by the Spirit of the living God. hallelujah hallelujah listen the lord just spoke to my spirit that we should sing a song i'm not yoruba but the song is in yoruba and i just want you to keep quiet the lord said as the, whoever is going to be singing it an anointing through this song is going to be bringing this recovery i don't know the song go i'm just someone who just had god go ahead my dear that's what the lord told me and as we begin to sing this song he's stepping into people's situation i want you as you are as you are singing this song see jesus stepping in into your family jesus the son of the living god walking into your life finally walking into your disappointments please help those under the anointing jesus is stepping in in this auditorium <laughs> Lord Jesus, now I'm going to begin to pray. Jesus, Jesus is walking into this auditorium right now. Walking into this auditorium. 
Jesus is walking into this auditorium the Lord is replacing all kinds of things body parts the healing power of Jesus touching people there are restorations coming now restorations please help them just help them we can't bring them out because of time but the anointing of the spirit is touching you right where you are right where you are is over is over the spirit of god is saying it's over you will not cry forever it's over 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 everything that happens on earth that is negative please hear me there was someone in fraternity with the realm of the spirit who spoke it to happen even the coming of jesus it took anna the prophetess to pray the word to come on earth he didn't just appear when she saw him she said now my soul can find rest what i kept decreeing speaking in the realm of the spirit has come oh my help has come oh my help has come oh my lifting has come oh we're going to pray in the spirit please be serious take the time to pray generate energy in the spirit while praying under a corporate anointing lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray. Are you praying? Pray in the spirit. Sananda Bakata, Sananda Bakata, the Prakata Kata Prakata Bakatos Koto Prakate, and the Shalakata Prakato Koto Prakato Bakata Bakata, and Prakata Katesh, Shinebakate, and Rikotos Koto Prakate Baruta Sarakata Yadaba. hallelujah are you ready to pray prayer point number one psalm three psalm three please help us media psalm three and verse one lord how they are they increased that trouble me many are they that rise up against me verse two many dear be which say of my soul there is no help for you in God. Verse 3. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that nothing keeps my head down. In this season, I am lifted supernaturally. Lift your voice and begin to pray. 
But now, O oh Lord, I just see for me my glory, the lifter up of my head. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Acts chapter 12, please give it to us quickly, Acts chapter 12, from verse 4, the Bible says that Peter was kept in prison, and the Bible says they kept him in prison, intending that after Easter, they would bring him out so that the people would kill him, verse 5. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. What happened? And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and the keepers before the door that kept the prison. Verse 7. The Bible says, and behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and light shined in the prison, and they smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly, and the chains fell off from his hand. Verse 8, and the angel said unto him, Guard thyself, and bind up thy sandals, and so he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment before thee, and follow me. Verse 9, the Bible says, And he went out and followed him, and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel, but he saw as though he was in a vision. Ten. Hmm. And when they were past the second, the first gate, there were three gates. The first gate brought him out of the prison. The second gate was midway. And the Bible says they came unto the iron gate that leaded to the city. Listen to me. This is the gate that stops visibility. There is a gate that stops the visibility of man. It says the gate leads to the city. Your business can be there, but there is an iron gate. Listen. And the Bible says that the gate opened on its own accord. When that gate opens, the next thing you see is the city. It's the gate that controls influence. Are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus, every gate standing my way of influence and visibility i declare be broken right now lift your voice and pray he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder he has broken the gates of path and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me. We are going to pray against delay. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of others to finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten of them will see him. They all had oil 
but because the bridegroom delayed the oil of others finished and they missed out you are going to pray lord bring speed to my destiny bring speed to my life lift your voice and pray speed to my life speed to my destiny speed to my life speed to my destiny speed to my business speed to my career someone is praying Pray, pray, outside, pray, online, pray, make the decrees in the name of Jesus. 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 We are still praying over speed. Look at me. Listen. The unit of destiny is time. God can bring you help speedily. Are we together now? Yes. We are going to pray. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. We are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my life. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Speed, speed, speed. Someone prophesy. Someone declare. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 125, verse 3. Psalm 125, verse 3, please. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Why? Lest the righteous put their hands in iniquity. The rod of the wicked. You are going to command every finger of darkness and evil over your life, your family, your children. You are going to command it to give way. Are you ready? Lift your voice and pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the righteous. Hallelujah. 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 Job chapter 5, please. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. We are praying. Please take this prayer serious. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. Are you ready to read? Want to read with me? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven shall no evil touch you. Number one. Next verse, please. In famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword next verse thou shalt be hid from the scourging tongues of men neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth why listen it says for thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field that means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me you use sand you i, I have a covenant with the elements of creation that they will not fight me because i was given dominion over them say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit 
no enchantment, no divination against my life and my destiny shall drive. Lift your voice and pray. I am in covenant. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the soul. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the soul. I am in covenant with the soul. I am in covenant with the soul. Hallelujah. the of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Please read with me. Are you ready? One to read. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. If it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way, by all means. If it means making a way, by all means, lift your voice and say, Lord, by all means, give me peace. 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 Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving. But in the realm of the spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. Next verse. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn in Zion. Verse 3. It says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Verse 4, I receive it for myself. It says, and they shall build the old waste, they shall raise up the former desolations, and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations. Verse 5, and strangers... This is where we are getting to. You don't need to know who will help you. Strangers. And strangers shall stand and feel. Listen, listen, listen. Strangers shall stand and feed your flock. It says, and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen. This was what happened to a man called Mephibosheth the Bible says and David said is there any man 
in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake. And they called a man called Ziba who had 15 sons. The Bible says he sent him to Lodeba. He said there is a crippled man called Mephibosheth. Go and fetch the man, the king said. When he came, he said, although you are crippled, even Mephibosheth said, am I a dog that the king will be sending for me? He said the children of Ziba would plow the land for him. He said, but as for you, Mephibosheth, you will eat with me at my table here forever. Keep that scripture there. Listen, this scripture is a deliverance scripture. Stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know. It's none of your business how God will bring you the breakthrough. Stop troubling your uncle, your auntie. Every time you are saying, God, visit me, your mind is going to a particular person. That real estate man. Leave God to decide who, like a movie director. Let him decide who will come with the blessing. Are you ready to pray? Make decrees in this season. Strangers are feeding my flock. Strangers are feeding my flock. The sons of Elia are coming to bless me. Hell, prepare blessings rising from everywhere. Hallelujah. Everywhere the helpers of your destiny are men instructed by god to hold your hand and lift you i don't care where they are across this nation and around the globe i stand by the voice of prophecy and i command them to show up in your life show up in your life show up in your life show up in your life, up in your life. listen to me every strange pattern an occurrence in any family circles of negative things that keep repeating themselves i stand by the god of heaven and i come by the rod of a higher priesthood i break those patterns now and jabez was more honorable than his brethren the bible says the mom bore him in sorrow and named him jabez and for a while things will not go well in his life and one day he said oh that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast is someone ready to pray listen god is a god of increase is it is the will of god that you keep moving from glory to glory not that you become stunted in one position i pray for you in the name of jesus expand expand to the left expand to the right i'm praying for you by the power of the holy ghost expand to the east expand to the north expand to the south expand to the west expand overseas in the name of jesus christ let's decree favor In the name of Jesus Christ, the kind of favor you have not seen in your life. I stand by the God of heaven if you can believe it. I declare, return with a fearful testimony of favor. I speak it from the depth of my spirit. Return with a fearful testimony of favor. We shift systems, we shift structures, and I command favor. I declare favor. I command favor. I declare favor. Can I pray for your spiritual life? Everything that has killed your hunger and your passion for the things of God, you used to pray in the night but now you sleep all till the day there is a spirit of slumber 
that wants to eat up your destiny because a new season is about to open for you so the devil does not want you to stay in the place of prayer receive an impartation of the grace the spirit of prayer and supplication in the name of jesus christ listen to me hear me we are wrapping up i'm speaking to you prophetically there are many of you seasons are about to open in your life but listen listen the devil wants to use offense to kill those seasons beware one of the traps of satan when seasons are about to open is that he uses offense everything offends you your husband your wife your children your boss make up your mind that your joy will remain because it is with joy you draw out of the wells of salvation i declare joy unspeakable joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory hallelujah let me pray for those in business i believe in the power of the holy ghost and i believe in miracles i don't care how it has been before now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god what has refused to walk in your hands go back right now and watch one does happen go back right now and watch one does happen go, uh, go back and watch one does happen in the name of jesus christ And whatsoever he doeth prospers whatsoever he doeth prospers there is something called honor see you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself it takes another person to confer honor upon you honor is a grace that is transferable he said thou shalt find Joshua in whom the spirit is upon and he says that thou shall lay your hands upon him and then he says you shall take some of your honor and you shall give to him honor is transferable the cure for shame and the cure for reproach in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare may this mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes you even among your contemporaries may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now there are people who came here with bills came here with things that are pressing your neck Though I walk through the valley low, I feel no evil. By the water still my soul, my heart will trust. Take your eyes away from the challenges. My eyes will trust. Though I walk through the path, I feel no ah. My heart will drop. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now the Lord is that spirit. I'm ready to pray just a few minutes. I saw the hands of people tied with chains. No matter what you do, it doesn't seem to work. It works for others, but when it gets to your turn, there will always be one story or the other. Fire is about to fall. I stretch my hands. Bring them out. 
everyone under the influence of this ministration if there is any power holding your hands and your productivity in the name of Jesus Christ I declare may that yoke be broken now chains be broken now Chains be broken now. I'm seeing fire rest on people. Bring them. Chains be broken. It's impossible to be here and not have results. This is koinonia. I declare chains be broken. Atmosphere. She now. Chains be broken. One more time. Atmosphere. Prophesy. I'm seeing the vision of an employment letter. In two weeks, three people from one family in two weeks this is what the lord is revealing three people from one family i stand by the god of heaven and i declare this as a prophetic word let it be you will marvel and wonder at the supernatural power of the holy ghost i declare it as a prophetic word in the name of jesus christ the lord is showing me people who have been around projects simple things that should be finished on time some of you it has taken years you start businesses you start things that finishes grace is not there i want to pray for you in the name of jesus everything you have started and the devil will not want you to finish it i stand by the god of heaven whether it's a building project whether it's a business whether it's a spiritual adventure i release the finishers anointing upon you the finishers anointing upon you. Skapakata kata patu kata. E breketo kepe kata. Skeleke te brende ke te bal. The finishers anointing. The hand of the rubber that began this work. I prophesy that same hand will complete it in the name of Jesus Christ. There are people here, you've been part of the lifting of many people, but they've forgotten about you. There is a book in the spirit called the book of remembrance. The Bible says, and that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. I'm, sp I'm speaking to someone by the spirit. And Mordecai had saved the king, but he was not rewarded. I speak to you, no matter how long it has been that every reward that should have come to you by reason of your participating in the success of others and you've been forgotten in the name that is above all names may the book of remembrance be open for you now <laughs> believe it believe it this is not motivation may the book of remembrance be open for you now For all of you who are out here, I declare those chains are broken forever. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never be the same. 
I will never be the same upon your grave. My life must change. 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 Let this wine press be the one that will shift you into dimensions and realms that will turn you into a sign and a wonder listen there is no dimension and hear me when i tell you this it is true there is no dimension of possibilities there is no dimension of dominion that you cannot command the key is not to chase after things no everything in life was designed to be attracted to be drawn by the mysteries of the kingdom and that which I show you tonight is called priesthood. It's the mystery of dominion. The saints reign. We program the spiritual climate over us. You pick favor from the realm of the spirit. Add it to January to December. You pick speed. Add it January to December. Speak open door. Add it January to December. Program every good thing to wait till you are there before it shows up. If you are not there, then it is allowed to be delayed till you show up. Priesthood, who are thou mounting before Zerubbabel that stands before you my brothers and my sisters i don't mean to insult your intelligence but what is in a job that god cannot give you listen listen i, I don't mean to be sarcastic it is true every day there are people looking for people to bless in this city what is stopping them from reaching you it is not distance i guarantee you it is not distance and it is not familiarity because gentiles will come to your light not your familiar friends no when those who know you bless you it's difficult to say it's god but when strangers feed your flock then you know that it's a dimension of grace where you wake up in the morning and you collide with all kinds of breakthroughs by evening you return back home and say my god have i not been in lagos and people say ah your season has come you say you are right but it's not time that brought it priesthood open me to another vista of spiritual possibility it's true we are going to pray and i i want to find a way of believing what i share with you tonight whatever he does prospers it doesn't just prosper because he wants it to prosper it is what is on your head that is controlling what is around your life priesthood that you can pray your way up to date down tomorrow spiritually lord i fold that season like a curtain out of my life priesthood the power of legislature what kind of dream is this that i always have every time i'm supposed to be lifted i see myself in secondary school i see myself in my former house no i don't know what it means but i know this is evil because the bible says the path of the justice as a shining light and you use priesthood blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us that he nailed his cross That every good thing starts in my life but doesn't end but the bible says he has turned my morning into dancing not dancing into morning he has turned my sorrow into joy and so you you step back and and take away your priest your your regalia and put that regalia of priesthood it's time to pray it's time to rearrange possibilities it's time to manipulate realities to send angels to send the ministry of the holy spirit to homes to systems to structures compelling them to bow to the lordship of the christ hallelujah
please listen i know there may be many pastors following online and so on and so forth why is my church not growing why is growth epileptic i have a message i'm a man of character and integrity i love the lord with all my heart what is this thing that is making people not grow no people do not just come they are compelled to come there is a grace that compels people it's called anakazo is the, it's the ability of the spirit he, he called for a feast and he sent to call people and they were giving excuses one said i just married i need to spend time with my wife another said i built a house i need to celebrate he said go to the street and the byways and compel them compel them listen to me listen there are dimensions you must enter but there are graces that is like that that expansion has not happened you can expand yourself like the molting of a snake come out of your old self into another dimension that sustains the power to command real results Lord, what is wrong with me? I love God, but I prophesy. And every every case I mention is not true. I say, you are you're John. I say, I'm not John. Something is wrong. I'm a prophet, but it's not speaking. Get to the position of priesthood and pray out that shell of the flesh until there is a heavy investment of the spirit. You come out from that place of priesthood and you become a blazing fire, an inferno of fire. Hiya, hiya, of God in ministry here let me give you an honest counsel going around and giving cards for invitation and saying invite me I'm a man of God you will only mock yourself go back to the secret place the place where men are made for a generation and generate the kind of energy that defies being ignored that vetoes your background that vetoes your limitations pray yourself until you intercourse with an anointing a grace that a generation recognizes pray until an investment of the spirit comes upon you you called me into the ministry of signs and wonders lord my life cannot be buried with power priesthood encounter with authority the grace to change nations the grace to shift systems the grace to hold structures listen 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 my dear brothers and sisters hear me it is because the challenges in our lives have not met authentic priesthood that's why they remain are we together now yes sir the day you take the matters in your destiny serious you will melt it like wax before the fire because the bible says he maketh his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire you can pray your way priesthood while men sleep you are praying 
Parush Kanata. Lagos, hear the word of the Lord. I stand as a priest. I legislate from Leki to VI to Ikeja. I call forth my helpers. I call forth the way makers used by God. I decree and declare no more delay. I program speed. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. I am Beulah and Hepzibah. I cannot be denied. Cannot be denied. Not on grounds of sentiments. Not on grounds of gender. I stand as one who has been helped by God. Hela parus kanakatos. Fito your background. Fito your limitations. Let priesthood become your advantage. Advantage in the spirit. Advantage in destiny. That the opening of your mouth is the opening of the gates of the destinies of men. Someone open your mouth and pray. Cry to the God of heaven. Wine press. Let the maker make you. Let your priesthood speak tonight. Please look at me. Listen to me. You're going to pray just two prayer points and we're done for the night. You're going to challenge the Bible says, listen to me. It says for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. He said casting down every imagination is the word yes sir the vain imaginations of men and bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ you are going to pray this is priesthood now are we together now you are going to pray and declare that everything that is not consistent with the character of God and the speakings of prophecy hear the word of the Lord I come as one sent anointed by God and you will lift your voice and begin to make decrees the Bible says declare ye that thou mightest be justified lift your voice and pray make decrees speak speak to systems speak to structures are there men of prayer here I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost Lagos hear my voice someone is praying Bagada hear my voice Ikeja hear my voice Leki hear my voice Africa hear my voice I speak in the name of Jesus every barrier be torn down by the power of the Holy Ghost every climate above me programming woes programming delay stopping a generation from hearing your voice manipulating your influence across a territorial space i come against you in the name of jesus someone is praying someone is praying over 
your ministry. I challenge powers over your business. I confront spirits in the name of Jesus. By the blood of the eternal covenant, I silence speakings. I silence ordinances. I silence operations in the name of Jesus. look at me it was the service in Psalm 3 that says many are they that rise up against me it says many are they that say where is thy God but then it says for thou O Lord that you are a shield for me then it says you are my glory and he uses the next prayer point you are the lifter of my head it says my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn even when the head of a unicorn is down the horn is not down the horn remains up at all times and I shall be anointed with fresh oil please listen listen I want you to take this prayer session seriously you are going to pray Lord the grace the anointing the unction for the next level of my life the compelling ability of the spirit that must rest upon me and will resonate like an earthquake across a territory the inferno of fire that must come upon my life and turn me to a wonder I receive it now lift your voice and begin to pray the grace that will make my music ministry step into another dimension for the sake of his majesty the grace that will make my business become a wonder and praise that there was a sound of a mighty rushing wind and it came and filled the room Greater dimensions of the healing anointing, greater dimensions of the grace for wealth and abundance, greater dimensions of the grace for prayer, greater dimensions of the grace for giving, greater dimensions of the grace for service, greater dimensions. Jesus the son of the living God I decree and I declare over everyone here and all the branches and all connected online I pray by the ministry of the Spirit in the name of Jesus may mighty anointing come upon your life and shift you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ the spirit of prayer and supplication that will grant you the grace to travail I declare by the hand of God let it rest upon you now these three women I'm not ministering this night but these three women I'm seeing oil being poured on all three of them help them please New dimension, I shift you in the spirit. New dimension, new dimension, new dimension. Take that fire, new dimension, dimension of power, dimension of grace. I amplify your voice. I give your product wings in the spirit. I command the generation to hear your voice. I place something upon your life that defies being denied. I forbid you from being rejected. I decree and declare 2020 expand 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 I speak 
by the Spirit, expand. And the choir expand. Move to new levels. Expand. Increase. Increase in knowledge. Increase in prosperity. Increase in influence. Increase in wisdom. Lift your hands, everybody. Everywhere your gift is needed, I command them to begin to talk about you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I activate breakthrough for you. In the name of Jesus, everywhere your gift is needed, whoever needs your gift in Nigeria, I stand as a servant of God. I command a connection in the realm of the spirit, beginning from tonight, tonight. Tonight, 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 in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray for every one of your family members looking for a job. My God and my King tonight. Let testimonies rise from this message. No matter how long, tonight, let someone talk to somebody. Talk to somebody and talk to somebody and connect them for breakthrough in the name of Jesus. For your family members, I command, help us. Those who will connect them to projects and contracts and opportunities. Yes, they don't merit it, but by the power of destiny help us. I connect them to the breakthrough for the next level. In the name of Jesus. Where you have cried academically, I connect you to help us. Professors who will help you. Admin staffs who will help you. Admin staff who will help you. Members in the Senate who will help you. Whether for accommodation, whether for your result, whether for missing script, whether for your wayek, whatever it is. In the name of Jesus. As the Senate and the faculty board members meet over your results and your performance, may a strange man enter that meeting and advocate for you in the name of Jesus. Anywhere they want to turn down your family members or turn down anything, let a strange man come. We don't want to know the name. Let a strange call come. Let a strange connection come. I prophesy it. I release it to you in the name of Jesus. I release testimonies, testimonies, testimonies from this breakthrough experience. Beginning from tonight, I command calls from destiny help us. Calls from destiny help us. Calls from destiny help us. Connections with destiny help us. They will travel and come and meet you. You will meet them on the street. They will come to your homes in the name of Jesus. You will see them in your dreams. God will connect you. For every one of your family members that is supposed to be married and they are not married, the husbands or the wives, they are not in space. They are here on earth. Lord, we pray tonight as a family by the power that is in the name of the resurrected Christ. I pray, let help us lead partners to their mates in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. We command supernatural marital connections. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We bind every devil. We bind every power that attempts to cause delay. We set them free from every curse and every yoke of bondage. Be released in the name of Jesus. The ministry of destiny help us all through this week I want you to pray cry out and say Lord bring them I believe you will hear fearful testimonies in this place as a result tonight I've shown you a very mighty secret don't forget it too soon hold it every time you are praying over something the answer is in the hands of another person stop beating about the bush 
every man and every authority can answer when God calls yours is just to pray that God will connect you praise the Lord mercy is a weapon and you are about to use it now ha. and he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the Lord and the accuser came before him attempting to rail accusations and he said is this not a reed that I have taken out of fire and he said the Lord rebuke you listen the mercy of God is a weapon you can use it and say Satan Satan I know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this I present to you the mercy of God I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the father standing and speaking I present to you the sinless blood I present to you Calvary Lift your voice invoke mercy you are going to use it as a weapon over the devourer i know i've not been a tighter you are authorized to destroy me but see the blood when i see the blood when i see the blood when i see the blood you should be destroyed but the blood will speak hear me you live the wayward life and all kinds of things happen and the earth cries against you but when i see the blood when I see the blood, you were involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance. But now that you are in Christ, when I see the blood, lift up your voice and plead the blood. Hey! Invoke mess, mercy. Come on now. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting. There are handwritings. There are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again. The devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone. There is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given. But tonight, plead the blood. It can blot it out. Come on now. It can blot it out. It can blot it out. It can blot out. It can blot out. It can blot out. Take it, 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 take it,
Listen, 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 listen. When you activate this, you will find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say, Oh, you once in where in the world you committed 19 abortions and blood is speaking, and that's why your life is not moving. It should not move. But now that you have invoked mercy, it makes the cause causeless. That means it should not come again. Are we together? You stole money. Help them, please. And all of that, you destroyed another person's destiny. But, but now that you are in Christ, what of the blood? He showed me Joshua, the high priest. Please take seriously. This is what I did for my own life, oh, let me tell you. For we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom. I want to pray for you. But we're going to pray one more prayer point. Hear me. And say, I begin a new order. A new order. Dissociated from the past. Alienated from the witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal God. you pray? Alienated. Every biological disorder. Every genetic disorder. Pray. Every yoke that made you But your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. One more time. 
to pair yourselves into three find someone who is serious anybody who is not praying leave him alone pair yourselves into three 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 and you are going to for the next two or three minutes i like you to blast in tongues non-stop this month of july we are declaring war over the gates of darkness lift your voice and pray that a threefold cord cannot be easily broken Pray, Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Lord, the gates must open. Lord, my destiny must be revived. My spiritual life must be revived. My finances, my family, arise, O God of heaven. Shabadakata, Shabadakata, Lakata Kata Kata. My ministry is time to break forth on the left, on the right. Pray, 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 pray. 